Bookworm, hardcover books from a library sale, old but not old enough for the antique that would fend off an attack by an exacto knife, sit stacked in a dark corner like Jack the Ripper victims awaiting their fate. She avoids looking at them until it's time. Already she knows how she'll use the safari patterned linen that dresses Osa Johnson's memoir, I Married Adventure. Her heart beats faster at the image of the collage she'll design on recycled leather, the front cover of a hand-bound journal. Fabric pieces combined with baobab bark, guinea feathers, canceled stamps and inked tattoos that capture kudu, lions, and cheetahs. A silver warthog charm tied in the waxed dental floss of an open binding. The inside pages of paper made from elephant dung. She tries not to think about dissecting the English romantic writer's anthology. Although she knows she will, siphon out the lifeblood binding paste, the dust that rises in a biblio-sized cloud when she rips off the heart of the cover, that she'll carve out innered names and quotes of Keats, Coleridge, Shelley, and Shakespeare, then leave the carnage in a garbage heap. The artisan who lives in her needs the fix to still the slight tremor, the rush of pounding turf in her chest, like the incessant din from Mentzelius's bookworm, its tiny wings clashing against one another. Recycled sentiments. Pacific Ocean seaweeds float with paper coffee filters and espresso grounds, dregs from early AM cups of decaf in seaside beds, pine needles stockpiled during mountain drives, picnic byproducts of orange peels and apple cores, combined with wildflowers, grasses, and flashes of bodies laid bare in fields private behind gravel pits, sagebrush and lilac blossoms left scentless beside a bathtub, their carcasses now blending with exotic bird feathers and fragments of fervid poems, all in a potpourri of fibrous reflections on a love as wasted as these separate parts of the handmade paper pulp, before they are boiled and macerated, molded and dried into stationery, the message sealed with sincerely yours, Floral Memorial. I'm in a Montana mood in the middle of metropolitan madness. An altered state induced by wildflowers, mountain found, prairie picked, and pressed into farm town phone book pages. My June Montana month replays like a National Geographic special. Flashbacks of flowers unfolding in technicolor as I flip frames that animate images through wide lens of recall, of collecting Canadian thistles that break border laws, of competing with cows for clover in Charlie Russell landscapes, and of roadside stops beside Rocky Mountain bear grass with ice cream cone blooms too big and beautiful to be had but blue-eyed grasses from the bridgers fit pages perfectly, and bear's paw yellow bell buttercups and wild geraniums tame Silicon Valley's insanity, its foamed mouth dried, along with the home state flowers, before they are planted in paper pulp and immortalized in compost.